Hey everyone, and welcome to week 37 of Operation Lose a Baby Hippo. So guess what? I actually lost 2.86 pounds this week. You guys, I don't know what I did different. I don't think I did anything different. But I finally broke through that like six week streak of having crappy, crappy weight loss. And I lost 2.86 pounds. So I am now officially down over 85 pounds with only 15 pounds to go, which is so, so exciting. Like I am just, it was the best day ever on Thursday when I weighed in. And we had a work event on Friday and I got to see a bunch of coworkers that I haven't seen for a while because we work in different parts of the building and don't always, you know, our paths don't always cross. And I had at least four people come up and tell me that I am looking so good and they're like, oh, you've lost so much weight and oh my God, like you look amazing. And I had a lady tell me that she's worried that the next time that she sees me, I'm not even gonna be there because she's like, every time I see you, like more and more of you disappears. So it was really nice to hear like all that positive feedback, especially coming after a day where I had like such an amazing weigh in and it was, you know, the scale actually was my friend this week, which has not been happening for quite a few weeks. If you guys remember, it's been like six weeks, I think that I've had, you know, under two pound loss and this week just everything seemed to kind of align and be exactly what I needed to kind of give myself that boost to keep going with the profile plan. And I actually switched to the new plan on Wednesday. Wednesday, if you hear squeaking, it's because my dog is chewing on her chew toy and I'm not gonna take it away from her because that's mean. But if I actually started my new plan on Wednesday, so Wednesday was my first like day doing the new plan without fruit and with the different size um, protein shake and with the bar. So here's my feedback. So I've been on it for a couple days now and I really don't like that vanilla shake in the morning. I don't know why the 25 gram vanilla shake tastes so much worse than the 15 gram vanilla shake. But I used to do, you know, my vanilla shake would go into a cup of coffee in the morning and that was like my breakfast. And I loved it, like it was amazing and it, you know, it tasted good and it kind of gave me a little bit of extra pep in my step. And I did the same thing with my 25 gram vanilla shake and it was awful. It tasted so gross. The vanilla shake has like a, the 25 gram vanilla shake has like a weird aftertaste that I am not a fan of and I can't figure out how to disguise it. So I tried on Wednesday and it was, I did that on Wednesday morning and it was disgusting and I thought I was gonna vomit. And then I did on Thursday, I tried just adding more coffee and that worked kind of, like it, kind, it was better than the one I had made Wednesday morning but it wasn't like, what I was having before I switched to the 25 gram vanilla. So then Friday morning I tried, cause normally I mix like a shake, I make like a small like six ounce shake with water and then I add coffee to that because otherwise it doesn't quite combine right and I don't really like cold coffee that much. And so I did try to do on Friday where I actually made six ounces of coffee on Thursday night and then I used the coffee, the cold coffee to mix in with the shake for, <laughs> sorry I'm both speaking, but I mixed the cold coffee in with the powder to make my shake and then added hot coffee to that. And that one was better. It was probably the best of the three that I did. And so I might have to do that, but it's a lot of work and it just isn't the same as what I had. And I'm a little bit sad about that to be honest. But I did on Saturday, I made a cinnamon pancake with the vanilla shake packet instead. So I took my 25 gram shake packet and I added an egg white, I added four tablespoons of water and a teaspoon of baking powder and a teaspoon of um, vanilla extract and then I just added like a crap ton of cinnamon because I really like cinnamon and I made pancakes and that was better. That was like probably the best of what I've done. So I 
but I don't have time to make pancakes every morning. So I'm gonna have to figure something out with the 25 gram vanilla shake or see maybe if the chocolate ones are better and maybe switch out my vanilla ones for chocolate instead. I don't know, like I have to kind of play around with that. A positive thing is that I don't miss fruit as much as I thought I would. Um, I really like the bars that I have. I got three different types of bars to start out with. I got the creamy peanut butter bar, I got the uh, pretzel peanut bar, I got the peanut butter brownie bar. Those are the three that I'm trying and I get 10 gram bars. So I don't know if there's like different flavors in the 15 gram versus the 10 gram. I don't know, I didn't do my research on that. So I really like the pretzel peanut, I really really like the creamy peanut butter, and the peanut butter brownie is okay, like I can eat it, it's not the worst thing I've ever put in my mouth, that sounds dirty, um, but the, pe <laughs> the peanut butter brownie is okay, I can tolerate it, you know, it's something that I, I'll finish the box no problem. But I don't think I'll get it again because it's not as good as the other two. And I went with all like peanut butter, peanut-y themed stuff because peanut butter is like my weakness. I love peanut butter so much. Like I miss Reese's. I miss like all like the peanut butter and chocolate is my jam. So I went with those because I figured I would have more of a chance of liking some of them. And I was really pleasantly surprised that I really, really enjoy at least two of the three and I can tolerate the third. I can just finish out the one box I have and then get more of the creamy peanut butter and the pretzel peanut because those are amazing and I really, really like them. So I'm glad that I'm not, you know, missing the fruit as much as possible and I can tolerate the bars. I just have to figure out what am I gonna do with that 25 gram shake? Cause I don't know if they like switched an ingredient in it or what it is, but it's just gross. <laughs> like I don't like it as much, which is sad because up until that point I'd been loving all of my shakes. So I'm glad that the other two shakes that I get in a day are still the 15 gram. So those are still good. So I'm not, I don't have to worry about that as much. And maybe I'll see if I could just make like a big batch of batter ahead of time and then just make that every day throughout the week and not have to mix it every morning. I don't know. I'm gonna play around with it and we'll figure something out. I'm sure I will. This week I have also been doing a lot better on exercise and have actually exercised five days this week. And thanks to Julie S who commented on my last video that I should check out the um, fitness marshal videos because they're like dancing videos. Oh my god, I did that last night. It was so much fun. I was laughing so hard. Like, he's so funny and he just, like, it was not, I was like breathing really hard and like was really tired by the end of it, but it was something that was really enjoyable and really fun for me. So I think that I'm gonna at least do one fitness martial workout a week just so I can have at least one workout that I really, really enjoy. So thank you so much for commenting and for telling me to check him out because that honestly made my night last night. Like I was laughing so hard. Like I think half of my workout came from just laughing at how funny he is and the jokes he cracks. And I really love on how on some of his videos he has like bigger girls too in the background like doing, um, like doing the dance with him so that you can kind of see like okay here's if you're like really fit how to do it and then how she modifies it and I like that it's not just all like skinny mini people that are doing it because that can get a little bit daunting sometimes when you are following a workout video or something and everyone is like way more fit than you and you're like I can't do that. So it was really nice that there was like variety in the body types of the people that he had helping him show how to do the dances and I really, 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 really enjoyed it. So I owe you a big one because that was a really helpful comment that you left. So thank you so much. And actually, I will link to the Fitness Marshall channel down in the description. So if any of the rest of you want to check him out, I would highly recommend it because it is a lot of fun and I laughed my ass off. So that's it for week 37. I had a really good weight last week. I actually enjoyed some of my workouts this week thanks to a helpful comment from one of you guys. And I am trying to figure out how to make that 25 gram shake a little bit better tasting. So if you guys have any suggestions for that particular issue, please leave a comment down below. I love reading your comments and it every time I get one, it just makes me that much more motivated to keep going and to not give up because I don't wanna have to sit down in front of this camera and tell you guys that I 
failed. So <laughs> this is a good motivator for me and I'm glad that it's also serving as a motivator for some of you guys. So I will see you in week 38. If you guys like this video, please hit that like button. Also subscribe so you can follow me along on Operation Lose a Baby Hippo. See you next week. There's a little culprit right there. Squeak on your squeaky toy through a mom's whole video. Yeah.